The Focus has six key features to help you become productive within the first hour of opening its lid. First, you've already seen the full disk encryption. This comes standard as it is almost always required for corporate and contract use. Second, when you signed in, you were immediately prompted to add your Cloud Drive account such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Most professionals today use at least one of these services. Third, you found the welcome video because, well, if you hadn't, you wouldn't be viewing it right now. Before we move on to the next features, we need to make sure you are connected to the internet. Click on the network applet found in the system tray. If needed, select your access point, enter your password, and press return. We should be ready to proceed in a few seconds. The fourth quick start feature is the app support icon, which is directly to the right of the welcome video. Double click to get a list of vetted and supported apps. Let's say we want an SVG editor. We can just search for SVG or Vector to find Inkscape. Then we can click on the icon to launch the app directly on the Focus. We can also click on the row to see additional information about the app. The fifth feature is the validated workflow icon, which is directly to the right of the app icon. Double click to get a list of common complex tasks that involve multiple steps and require multiple apps. The site provides ordered instructions with numerous images and links to apps that again launch directly on the Focus. The sixth feature is the Hints panel found at the top right corner of the desktop. Here we see one of 10 Hint slides. Click the left or right arrow to move through the slides. Press Kubuntu space to show your desktop anytime and find a hint and then press Kubuntu space to return to your work. A few shortcuts worth mentioning include quick launch apps, browse open apps, toggle the application menu, show desktop grid, desktop zoom, and locate mouse cursor. Let's take a look at a few key applications we think you should know about. One, Google Chrome has been themed to match the desktop and optimized to make the most of the NVIDIA RTX GPU. Type Chrome colon GPU into the address bar to see the optimizations. This gives Chrome a nice performance boost in graphically intensive web apps. Two, the JetBrain toolbox makes downloading, installing, and updating any number of IDEs immediate and simple. If you're not a JetBrains user, you might want to consider their products. We find their support for dozens of languages and databases hard to beat. Three, back in time is installed and configured to provide time machine-like snapshots. If you deleted a file by mistake and then emptied the trash folder, back in time can save you. By default, snapshots are taken once per hour make sure to review the configuration so it saves the files you want. Also, remember to exclude cloud drives from snapshots to avoid using too much disk space. Four, the file manager is very easy to use. Don't forget about the split window feature, which is awesome. Also, using features like SFTP to connect to remote hosts is great. Five, and of course there is the terminal, which includes all sorts of nice touches. Click on the bottom buttons to open and close tabs. Six, let's not forget Steam. When you're done working for the man and are ready to get your game on, the RTX graphics and the 144 hertz screen are impressive. There are many thousands of titles available on Steam alone. And now, thanks to Proton and Steam Play, a vast quantity of Windows-only AAA games now play surprisingly well. Seven. The system tray is at the bottom corner and shows icons for applets. This is common to most popular operating systems. We've already discussed the network applet. Other interesting applets include the clipper, where you can find your clipboard history, the volume control, and the CPU control, where you can change from performance to power save mode. This is handy when you want to conserve battery power. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the Kubuntu Focus.